go. Hello everybody, my name is Cecilia. What are we going to do today, Cecilia? We are going to make um, <laughs> model. What do models let us do? Make an observation. Great. What type of model will we make today? A soda bottle. Tur. Tur. Air. Air. Eum. Eum. Soda Tur. bottle. Tur. Awesome. Okay. So what did we have to get first? Soda bottles. Okay. That's very good. A bottle of soda. Now something you didn't use was a X-Acto knife. And you could use this or a pair of scissors, but an adult should do it or you should do it with an adult. And what did we use this for? Cutting it in half because it used to be the gutter, but then we shoom, it apart. Excellent. Okay. Now our soda bottle terrarium is going to let us make observations about what, Cecilia? And? And? Pebbles. Okay. Wood chips. Uh-huh. And dirt. And? Well, soil. And we have a plant. And what's our last thing? And water to grow the plant. Okay. Cecilia, are any of these things non-living? Y-E-S. Which ones are non-living? These pebbles, these wood chips, and dirt, soil dirt. No, no, no. This box. No, no, the water. The water, good. And these. Mm-hmm. What about sunlight? Will we have to put our terrarium, terrarium in the sunlight? Yes. Okay. Yes, we will. Is sunlight alive? No. Oh. What is living that's going to be in our environment? Right. What is living? Yeah. That is called a bulb. Can we let everybody see the bulb, please? It's kind of like a seed, and we're going to try to grow a plant called a hyacinth. Okay. Cecilia, I want you to take the bottom part of your soda bottle and you're going to place the pebbles inside. Carmen. Great. Now we're going to put some of those wood chips in. Just enough to cover the pebbles. The pebbles that look like marshmallows. Now what, Cece? We gotta put the soil. Okay. Dirt. Mm -hmm. I like saying soil dirt. It is soil, it's not just dirt because it has lots of nutrients <clears throat> in it. And I'm making a big mess. Okay. Go ahead, use two hands if you have to. Not being so dirty. All right, now, do you think this bulb wants to be on top of the dirt or buried in it? Very, very, very. So why don't you place it down, push it a little bit, and then put more dirt on top. Good job. We wanna make it go everywhere. Yeah. So it's not just in one spot. Now these little white things in here are all kinds of nutrients that will get dissolved when there's water. And the roots that will grow can suck up those nutrients and the water. I think that's good, right? Yeah. All right. So now let's put a little water on top for our bulb, our hyacinth bulb. The 
goes in. Yeah, but don't dump it in one spot. Try to spread it out a little bit. That was great. Now the next part is very tricky. You can give it a try, but mommy will probably have to help you with it. Here you go, dear assistant. <laughs> I'm always your assistant. Well, that's pretty good. You gotta tuck it in there. Wait, in or out? It doesn't matter. Either way that you can get it on. That's pretty good. Maybe tap it on the tap it on the top a little bit. All right. Okay. So now we can make observations about our terrarium and use this as a model of how living and non-living things will cycle the nutrients and energy flow. Thanks, Cece. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye.